Hi, this is Will Faber from Art to Ride, and I'm here with my good buddy Zoolander here this morning to uh, do another episode of our book club. Um, these are a few books that really should be on every modern rider's shelf. Um, starting off with If Horses Could Speak, which is not actually a book, but a videotape, and it's companion of the book, Tug of War, Classical versus Modern Dressage, that we're going to talk about by Dr. Gerd Hirschman. And um, these books really have saved me a lot of talking because I've been teaching this style of riding, of teaching horses to get correct over their backs and stretch and relaxation for many, 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 many years. So I'm happy to say I was happy when I found these books because I found somebody, uh, you know, a veterinarian who actually explained it. And actually there's an older explanation by another veterinarian you might want to check out um, named Udo Berger, who was a famous German uh, gold medal rider and the team veterinarian there who wrote a book called The Way to Perfect Horsemanship and also another one called The Rider Forms the Horse, which is the basis of all this work. So going back, you know, 50, 60 years, you know, this material was in print. So what Dr. Gerd Hirschman has done, however, is um, put this tape together where they've actually gone on and put, you know, a lot of sensors all over horses and done a lot of scientific studies, so to speak, that basically prove how horses should correctly develop. That is, correctly develop by being stretched down and out to let their backs develop correctly in order to support the weight of a rider. So, once again, that's uh, Tug of War, Classical versus Modern Dressage. The only thing I'd beg to differ there, as far as I'm concerned, there is only one thing that is dressage, and all the rest of this is just some strange aberration. But, uh, so I hesitate to even call what I often see dressage, but uh, we'll, we'll call it classical versus modern dressage. I would call it just bad dressage. So once again, if horses could speak, and also if you can get a copy of this somewhere, uh, it has been, um, they were sued by some of the riders who advocate the Rolker method of training because they, there were pictures of them even though they were disguised in this and they had got a lawsuit in Europe to stop this from being, from being published. So if you can find a copy of this, um, please have a look at it. If Horses Could Speak, Tug of War, Classical versus Modern Dressage. Now one other book that I wanted to uh, mention very quickly is Recognizing the Horse in Pain and What You Can Do About It. And this is by Dr. Joanna Robson. Um, she's actually our veterinarian that we work with and is very involved with our Hippo Foundation. And she's also a student of mine as well and uh, is very interested in saddle fitting. So she goes through in this book and really shows you, you know, what some of the issues are that are causing people to have difficulties with their horses, and it's nothing more than tack. So once again, I uh, hope that helps. Uh, that's recognizing the horse in pain and what you can do about it, Dr. Joanna Robson. This is Will Faber from Art to Ride once again with my good buddy Zoolander over here. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.